There we go. And we are live. And thank you to everybody that's going to be joining me today. Um, for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Bev G. Star, and I'm a creative director behind that creative thingy, What's It, as well as the creator of Humans and Western. And I'm currently running a project to shine light on the organisations or the humans behind the organisations that are doing wonderful things in Western. And today I am joined by Nigel from the Proud Bar. Hi, everybody. Nice to be here. <laughs> Our absolute pleasure, mate. Our absolute pleasure. Now, before I get started, I just want to say a big thank you to our fund funding providers, which is the Department of the Digital Culture, Media and Sport, along with and in partnership with the National Lottery Community Fund. So over to you, Nigel. Can you please just tell us who you are and a little bit about what you do? Wow, where did I start? <laughs> <laughs> so I moved to Western about nine years ago. Um, yeah, and I am Nigel Bryars. I'm one of the directors of Western Supermare Pride. I am also one of the directors at Proud Bar. Hey, that's enough, isn't it? And I'm sure within all of those things that you've just said, all those two things that you've just said, there's so much more about you. So I'm going to start picking away. So can you tell me what you were doing before uh, or how you functioned or ran your uh, CIC before COVID, the pandemic struck? So the CIC uh, for Pride was set up um, in order to go and get the UK Pride bid. So that was uh, set September 2018, I want to say, 2019 maybe, um, without getting the paperwork out. I, I can't really remember. It's all a bit of a blur because so much has gone on. Um, so originally Pride was from with the North Somerset LGBT Forum, which was the little um, charity that still exists um, that I founded um, back in 20. 13 2014 um with the citizens of ice bureau down at the badger center so we run a little we ran a little drop in there for for a few years um yeah so it's a little drop in for the lgbt plus community um and we built um strategic relationships with many different people throughout north somerset western supermare and so on and so forth so that that charity has now gone on to create some amazing things i've left the charity in order to focus on western supermare pride because i mean one of my one of my, one of my yeah pride to me has been a, a massive journey in my personal life 30 odd years of you know engaging with the pride movement and when the opportunity came to, to do a Pride in Western, it's been the most beautiful experience as the founder and one of the directors of that. And the engagement that I've seen over the years with Western Supermare Pride has absolutely blown me away as a, as a personal um, feeling and as a gay man as mm, a gay man yeah, 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 and totally. um, what what really strikes me about western supermare pride is how much love there is on that event mm -hmm. and that is not only in the lgbtq plus community that's all the relatives and all family members and also straight allies that come to engage with that that event so does that sort of answer your question you know beautifully, mate. beautifully very well very well done because next i wanted to ask you how you if any projects that you're currently running um through the pandemic or currently because i know you got i know you've got a lot going on because i see you so okay let me start with asking you about your new show the the real show with way okay yeah yeah so yeah just ha how did it affect the cic the pandemic before before mm -hmm. pandemic we we were thriving you know western Superman pride was thriving we were going on to do uh 2020 we we were on the move from growth park to the beach lawns and then yeah 
it all gets taken from under a fee. During the pandemic, as some people might may be aware, um, I was <laughs> yeah, I was given an opportunity by Richard from um, Wave Community Radio Station. And hi, Richard, if you if you're watching, and um, thank you for the opportunity. Um, he, he approached me and said, "You know, Nigel, I really do want to get this LGBTQ." show off the ground and i'm like well i can't really say no because like if somebody wants to support the lgbtq community in the form of a radio station then how can i say no you know <laughs> and um, you know that's what pride you know that's what pride is all about it's about you know being visible and being heard so after after a coffee and half an hour and sort of socially distanced in proud um he goes we do it and I, I was like yeah i i can't say that and it has had a massive response today i mean i think this week was your was a quite an important week for that wasn't it so it's the first uh it launched on monday and uh, it was the first week and we could have waited a, a little bit longer because i am so not tech savvy one little bit and as people you know who really know me uh, and work with me tech is not my thing so you know and I get really anxious around tech because I want the best you know I'm a bit of a perfectionist around stuff however my knowledge around tech doesn't always allow that so but we rolled with it it was significant that we we launched in LGBTQ um, history month um and I couldn't have done it any sooner because I wasn't confident. I was, I'm really anxious about the show. Um, people think that, you know, yeah, people think that I'm confident sometimes and, you know, um, that I don't have anxiety. I so do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I so do. And it, it, it's just about taking its time. And it's okay to have that fear and those butterflies going on. And I just try and push through it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely an example to other people, you know, because you are such a prominent member of our community and you're looked up to by a lot of people. You know, your name's really out there. You're like a Western celebrity. You know what I mean? It's like, I was like, you know what it is to a degree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it is beautiful. Yeah. You know, and people forget that you're human and, you know, being real is really important, especially with a cause like yours to just raise that awareness and sort of get uh people in touch with themselves. Thank you, uh, Bev. That really means a lot. You know, I moved to Western, you know, a few years ago, like I said, and uh, I've been welcomed by the community. And it, it's so nice to belong here. You know, it's like this is my home now. When my father passed away in, in the Midlands and what have you, you know, he said to me, whatever you've got going on down there, Nigel, just stay exactly where you are because this is the best Nigel we've ever seen. And I thought, you know what? If that, if my dad's telling me that, then there must be some honesty in it, you know? Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I, I've held on to that. And um, Western is my home and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I like what you say about keeping it real and, you know, that... I'm going to let you into a first here on your show. And um, so the real show is called Real for a reason. And it was myself and um, for some people, they might know her for pastoral support for um, Western College. And she used to be at St. John's Church um, at the top of the hill. Um, Julie Burkett's. And we were sitting around having coffee one day and we were talking about names for a little little thing that we wanted to get off the ground. And I said, somehow I need people to recognize love and equality. And so real is recognizing equality and love. Wow. 
privy to that too. You heard it here. That's beautiful. You beautiful person. Um, I'm just going to go over to a quick comment that we've got being left on our video feed, and it's from Stephen. He says, "Hi guys. He's been really looking forward to this. So thank you, Stephen, for tuning in. We're we're absolute uh, pleasured, uh, joy to have um, Nigel with us. And then the beautiful, beautiful people that I'm sure you've worked with from Theatre Orchard said, "We loved your real show in the Wave Community Radio, Nigel. You're an absolute natural and." Plenty to get our boogie on as well. <laughs> oh, bless you. That is so nice. So nice. So um, with other organisations, um, can you name drop a few organisations you have been working with over the pandemic? You've just named them, you know, Theatre Orchard, Culture Western. Um, Western Supermare Pride has just gone into partnership with the MFA. Uh, Multicultural Friendship oh, Association. Yeah. Um, uh, Theatre Orchard and Culture Western have been a real support for me personally mm -hmm. um, during the pandemic and the lockdown. Um, I'm actually got tears in my eyes as I'm saying this. And I know people have struggled, and I'm one of them. And I, I'm going to be totally honest. I have really struggled through this. Um, and it's conversations that I've been having with Megan and um, Becky, uh, Conran. You know, they have brought out a side of me that I never thought was possible. And that's a cre more of a creative, artistic side. And mm -hmm. for me, it's given me a real sense of peace. Because if I watch Boris... 24 7 and talk <laughs> pandemic coronavirus vaccinations my head has gone <laughs> all of yeah. ours all of ours all of ours i think it's um uh, just now you know that we're realizing the capabilities and the positivity or the use and the importance of creativity and also connecting with people and theater orchard just have gone on to leave you a little love heart there on the feed and uh sending our love to those beautiful people uh stephen also goes on to say theater orchard and culture western are doing an amazing job to bring creativity and the arts to the people of north somerset so we can all agree there i uh, wasn't was there some online sessions with that was that with you guys was there some online sessions? So we, we, we've got a closed group that goes on on a Tuesday evening. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's a very creative, safe space that Proud Bar, the Proud family, we've called them. Um, I was on a phone call um, with Megan one Monday morning. We, we sort of wrote to ourselves in through the last sort of few months. Monday morning, 11 o'clock, it's a call with Megan. And uh, it just sets me up for the week, you know, talk about the weekend and how she's doing and what have you. And um, on this particular Monday, I was, you know, a bit of house music on or a bit whatever I was doing. I was just having a, a clear up around my, my flat. <laughs> and this is before Poppy arrived. And... Um, I started singing and this get physical. I'd had enough of Bor being Boris, as I would call it, sitting around, and I thought to myself, I need to get physical. And then I went on to this conversation with um, with uh, Megan, and I said to her, I said, you know what, I've got this bit of a vision around something, and I've just had a living Newton John spinning around my head. And I said, I really want Theatre Orchard and Culture Western to help me with the LGBT community to get visible in this town in a theatrical and creative way. And from that, then onwards, let's get visible with the Proud family. And Theatre Orchard has, has been formed. So it, it is about being visible and it's about being creative at the same time. And it's beautiful what we've got. And it's very very dear to my heart yeah rightly so rightly so or much deserved and it's lovely how you speak such in, in such a cherished way about the people you know that are given full circle to each other uh becky says here hi becky um so she says so nice to see so nice to come across your lovely face on here nigel and, that's <laughs> becky as well. and becky's a beautiful person in herself so isn't yeah. it lovely you just that's you know crazy. 
you just touch the hearts of so many people in Western, really, really have, and um, which is why I'm so shining such a light on you because I'm so proud of you know who you are and and what you're bringing to Western. So just just thank you so much. So we've talked about the legs get visible. So let's talk about obviously we don't want to talk about Boris, but he's allowing us to come out maybe in the summer. So what, what's your plans yeah. going forward? <laughs> 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 So, yeah, visible you know what, I had to come to Proud Bar to do this. I am sitting in Proud Bar doing this because this is my front living room. Yeah, this is my living room where I cherish it. I feel at home here. And, um, you know, it's a bit shabby. It's a bit dusty. We've got lots to do to reopen. And, it need, you know, it needs a good clean. Um, but you know what? This is home for the LGBTQ community of Western Superman. And um, everybody is welcome. And for Becky and Theatre Orchard, they've all engaged with this project over the, you know, the months before pandemic. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here, just can't wait to get over. Um, but I'm saying all of that, we're going to do it really slowly. Good. Because Good. I, I for one, would hate anybody to come into Proud and, um, you know, become unwell or, yeah, and, and something happened to them because of... of you know, You've got the they, best interests of your whole family. Of the place. This is the Rainbow family. This is the Proud family. This is the Theatre Lodge family. This is, this is the Humans family. This is... This is Weston's little pub, if you like. Yeah. And as soon as I open those doors, you know, they're going to start trickling in. Mm -hmm. And I don't, you know, I don't want to throw a big party. Look, we're open. We've just been through the most horrific year plus. Yeah. You know, everybody's experienced it in one way or another. I just want you people to just come here and it doesn't matter if, even if it's just a cup of coffee, you know. It doesn't matter if you're just coming in just to say hello. I'm glad, so glad you've opened or whatever. Just come and engage with us for a short time or for the whole evening just to say, hi, how are you? So that we can say, are you okay? Beautiful. Mate, every time you speak, I sorry I get goosebumps because you're so like passionate about, you know, just the right things. And I just I'm just so thankful just how well you articulate what you're about. So well done and congratulations on being the finest human today. <laughs> so cheers for that, mate. Um Kelly goes on to say here, let's um let's get visible is such a beautiful group. Thank you for letting me be involved. And that's from our, our dear friend Kelly Lewis, and she's put a little bit of rainbow on the end. We love Kelly, we speak highly of her, and she's a, a wonderful. Uh, member of many communities so that's wonderful so Nigel let's move on and ask you about where people can find you on the internet or where people can connect with you or just watch what you do because I'm sure and I swear to god that most of my Facebook feed is just lit up with your rainbows and all of the things that you do which is why I assume that you do so much. <laughs> so, uh, sometimes I think to myself am I doing this too much or are people enjoying it I don't know but they uh, are for me, it's really important to nurture that sense of belonging on a, on a daily basis and on a regular basis. So, you know, my friends on Facebook, when we're not out and about and, you know, in Proud or at Pride, I, I'm really missing everybody. Yeah. I am yeah. really missing everybody. And I just want to let people know that I'm all right, I want to see that they're all right. And, you know, whether or not it be a, a little picture of my puppy who is now, what, five months old um, and beautiful, you know, a little chihuahua cross that I got. Um, because, yeah, I, I want to engage with the community because we need to stay, the LGBTQ community needs to stay visible it's a really difficult time when we're all in lockdown to know if everybody's all right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and if people see the rainbow hearts or they see x i don't know i don't know lgbtq 
Q History Month this month. I know. You know the, the posts that have been going out, they're sent out not only to say hello to the LGBTQ community, but they're also sent out to educate people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, the struggle around equality continues, you know? Yeah. And the fact that we've not been visible this year, and, you know, most of last year, <coughs> we haven't had Pride um, last year, and we're not having it again this year on a physical event. It just worries me that, you know, people are feeling a bit disappointed, upset, isolated. Mm -hmm. So that's why those posts go out. And I, and I think, yeah, perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. Why, why I do it. And, um, and also connect with my mates. You know, I've got a beautiful friend, Jamie Ross, too, in Bristol. You know, I can't go and have Sunday dinner in Bristol. But yeah. I just want to tell them, you know, I want to give you a hug. Because that's yeah. how I feel sometimes. And, yeah. And also, you know, mates in the UK Pride Network, you know, Western Supermare Pride is going to be the UK Pride. And sometimes I just want to connect with the, the network. And I say continue to do so because I love my uh, feed filled up with the beautiful love hearts and the beautiful rainbow and all the information. And what you just said about the education side. <gasps> wow, that's key, isn't it? Education is key as well as the love and the community. So well done for educating us. I think, I think that people need to realise that we all walk our individual paths. We've all had our own journeys. LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, plus, heterosexual, you know, I go, I, and it doesn't matter what age group, you know, whether or not you're in your teens or 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, we're all in this community and sometimes it's just it's just necessary to connect mm -hmm. and, and piece together the dots. Mm -hmm. and, and, and everybody has a place to play within it. Mm -hmm. You know, and if, if we could try and create a safe space, you know, in, in Western Supermare, a safe community. You know, that's why we're working with the Multicultural Friendship Association, so that if anybody from a different culture is struggling, you know, we can connect. It's so important because I just want to carry the love that I've been shown in Western. It's really unique. It's really special. And I'm not going nowhere. This is my home. I love it. <laughs> Well, we we and we are so thankful and so happy because um, Western needed you, Nige. Do you know what I mean? What you seek is seeking you, and we we really needed you in our community to uh, be a forefront, a voice, um, a, a create a place where we can all connect with the right people. You know, like you said, of any gender, of any of any uh, orientation, we need to be there and we need to have a place. So, just congratulations again. Um, Becky goes on to put poppy power. I'm sure she's referring to your lovely little poppy that you've got there. Little... She is, she is. Which was really bizarre, Bev. I've got to tell you this very quickly, um, if I may. Um, so I, I put out there that I needed to try. And, I've been Boris, like we all have. And um, I was fed up with, you know, just moping yeah. around the world. You know, and I thought to myself, I need to get out there and I need to, you know, maybe I need to get a little dog. And I had no idea. You know, I just put one post up. Yeah. I think I need to get a puppy. I need to get, you know, a bit physical and what have you. And um, within 24 hours, I was introduced to somebody at Taunton Pride um, through, through the person who leads Taunton Pride, Jenny. And she connected me with Wesley. And from them, um, yeah, I went to go and see the litter, or obviously socially distance and mass and all that. And um, I went over with a friend, and the first puppy that we saw was Poppy. And um, I said, that's her. You know, I, I need to pay a deposit. It's not going to be And I'll just, you know, keep chipping away at it. And um, sure enough, she arrived in November, and it's the best thing I've done. I love her. Good, I'm pleased, I'm pleased. And she is beautiful. I love seeing pictures of her. So continue to share her, um, you know, pictures of us with us on your I friends will. list. 
appreciate that. So uh, just going on, uh, Peter Goodrum's just popped in to give us a little rainbow in his support. So thank you, Peter. It's oh, wonderful. Thank wonderful. you. You are a cherished human of Western also. Um, Stephen's also put, you can catch up with the Western Supermare Pride, uh, any of the online plans on this link, and he's linked to the um, westernsupermarepride.com. Uh, he also goes on to, <laughs> thank you, Stephen. He's so, so efficient in the background. He's also popped up your uh, Facebook page to the Proud Bar. So anybody looking to reach out um, now or in the future, please follow the links just to be uplifted in your soul by the beautiful things that humans, uh, that Nigel and his team do. Um, we've also just got a nice message from Culture Western that says, thanks, Bev and Nigel. We love the connections made on this humans page fab interviews every time and may I say that these interviews wouldn't be any good without the right humans that were shining the light on and that is you Nigel thank you so so much really You're blessed welcome. to have you yeah before we uh wind down is there any uh last uh, this is quite broad mate uh last wise words wisdoms that you would like to share with the humans of western and this project creating connections before you uh we log off today is there anything that you have to share Create, creating connections, um, humans of Western. Wow. We, we are blessed to have so many little community, community projects. Um, this is the first time I've done this with you, Bev. And, you know, it's, it's lovely to be able to... We know each other from, you know, a few years ago. And we, we've sort of spoke, you know, briefly and what have you. And... Um, it's lovely to connect with you and be able to do this. So thank you for asking me. Um, this project is, is, is lovely, like so many other projects in Western Supermare. We have got something really special. And um, yeah, like I said, it's about joining up those dots and, and being part of the jigsaw. And, um, and we all get on relatively well which is amazing absolutely <laughs> amazing um like every you're not going to agree on everything but the majority of things we've all got a desire to support our community you know we're, we're grateful for the community we live in and we all want to bring something to it <laughs> and what i what i've seen is um can you hear me still Yes. Yeah. What I've seen is as we, you know, have created these projects, how everybody is getting involved. And you know what? Lockdown, if nothing else, has given us the time to connect with each other. And so that has been a positive thing. And now as we come out of lockdown, let's make those friendships. You know, let's continue doing what we've done in lock. Let's not let it go away. You know, we've all connected. Let's all make time for each other and choose our paths together. Together. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, yeah. mate. Just absolutely, like, I swear, like I said earlier, I have goosebumps when you speak because you're so passionate and so right and direct and saying the right thing. So more Nigels, please. that will be great. Uh, just so you know, uh, Darren says you're a top bloke, Nigel. Uh, couldn't agree more. Here, here. That is what the internet is blowing up right now, that Nigel is a fantastic guy. And then we've got beautiful Pete Maxwell has just logged on to say, good bless, uh, God bless you, uh, big Nigel. Love you very, very much, bruv. Uh, Pete's. So, and we do, we do speak highly of Pete himself. So again, uh, Nigel, uh, just thank you. And for those that are watching today, don't forget to check out the uh, Western Supermare Pride pages, um, the Proud Bar pages, and just generally engage and interact because like Nigel has just outlined, we are all part of the community and we just need to collaborate in the right places to make sure everybody feels included. Yeah, that's the right word. <laughs> and, uh, uh, definitely that and better stronger communities so Nigel have you anything else less to say before I chuck us out today no just take care of yourselves everybody thank you for being part of this and if you're watching on catch up you know thank you Bev for um, inviting me you know I, I, I'm really privileged to be here talking to you today and, and just carrying this message we're coming out of the lockdown now we are going to be stronger together we are going to stick together and 
hopefully we will all have a nice, safe summer. Agreed, mate. Spot on that. And don't forget uh, to check out the real show that is on um, Wave, Western Superman Waves Wave Radio. Wave Radio, 7 o'clock on a Monday. And I'm going to be tuning in, so I hope more of those humans that are watching today or at a later date also can uh, hear more from Nigel and his tribe. Okay, so without further ado, just a reminder, my name's Bev G. Starr. I'm the creator of Humans of Western. Um, I'm running a project called Creating Connections on behalf of that creative thingy, What's It, as a creative director. And our funding today was provided by, um, in partnership with the National Lottery Community Fund and the Department for Digital Culture, Media and Sports. Without further ado, thank you much, everybody, for talking on today. I believe that's how for now. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.